I am the honesty broker. I am the great healer of sports fans who sometimes get carried away and overly emotional. I'm not allowed to do that. I have to see the world clearly, cleanly, and without emotion. Philadelphia, I have your best interests at heart. It's almost like I'm running for a campaign to win the mayoral job of Philadelphia, but I'm not. I'm doing this out of just human decency. You want to move Ben Simmons to some uh, far-off land where he's going to dominate the NBA for 12 years, and I am here to tell you, I am here to save your franchise. I'm a faith healer. I got a little Joel Osteen this morning. I am here to save you. Some Jim and Tammy, okay? The bottom line here is you, you do know that he's 22 years old. You get that, right? There's only two young guys even left in the playoffs. Jamal Murray in Denver, who's inconsistent, and Ben Simmons, who, God, what a shock, is inconsistent. He's 22 years old. Last night he goes 21 points, eight rebounds, six assists, bagel, no turnovers. No player in NBA history except Magic Johnson has had that stat line at 22 years old. You do realize that Kobe Bryant didn't start his first two years in the NBA. And then year three, he was, meh. You do, that's Kobe Bryant. You go to college to mature. I mean, if you didn't make mistakes in college, you really don't have a life. You need to make mistakes in college. Okay. Oh, Ben Simmons went to an hour and a half of college to a non-traditional program and to a, a coach that got fired and to no NBA players. And then he gets hurt. And now two years in, in big games, last night's the biggest game for the Philadelphia 76ers in 19 years. And he is there. And you want to trade him. He spent one year in college. Steph Curry went to three years of college and then didn't pop until year five in the NBA. <laughs> you, 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 do you know what they called Steph Curry at 22? Irrelevant. Okay, Chris Middleton, everybody's like, oh, Chris Middleton. This is his seventh year in the NBA. Giannis is already in his peak sixth season. He just won his first playoff series. What about Anthony Davis? I have to hear about Anthony Davis again. He's in his sixth, seventh year in the NBA, sixth year. Last year, he won his first series. Ben's already done that. Ben's now in a game seven. Folks, here's the Rockets Warriors series. I'm going to name the age of the players in this series. Katie's 30. Steph's 31. Iggy's 35. Draymond's 29. Clay's 29. Chris Paul's 34. Um, Harden's 29. P.J. Tucker's 34. Ben Simmons is 20. Two years old. They say your brain's not fully formed till you're 20, 25. He also played 79 games this year. 81 games. <clears throat> Joel Embiid. Uh, 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 last year, the, se- the Sixers are 7-0 and if he has five or more assists. 0-4 in these playoffs when he doesn't. You go ahead and run him out of town. What were you doing at 22 years old? These these kids now, they come out. This is not Ewing and Duncan. This is not Clyde Drexler. This is not guys that went to college for multiple years, emotionally, physically grow up. We're jamming Ben Simmons into this world-class stage against Kawhi Leonard, seventh game, intense Philadelphia, pressure from the media, talk shows, talking, ripping, trade him bum. Last night, biggest game in 19 years. He was money. He was unbelievable. They called Tragic Johnson. That was Magic's nickname for a year after a bad finals. Ben Brown, his coach, thankfully understands the gifts of Ben Simmons. You want to run that guy out of town, too. This is a tough team to coach. It's a tough team to coach. You got Jimmy Butler doesn't get along with anybody. Embiid's high maintenance. Simmons is 22, and Tobias Harris wants to be a max guy. I mean, J.J. Reddick's the only guy that comes to the park, kind of knows what he is. You know what you get every night. So this, this, we are just forgetting. There's a kid that plays for Portland, Zach Collins. I have buddies up in Portland. They're like, oh, no. I'm like, he should be a junior at Gonzaga. <laughs> He's not even an upperclassman yet in college. They're babies. He has to go against the Joker. He's a junior in college. Love Ben Simmons. Let me shift to this. All right. Tonight, Warriors, Rockets, game six. Houston's going to win. I slept on it, and I've now come to the realization, I think, I think Houston's going to win the series. I'll get to that later. 
But um, James Harden, this series is no longer about Steph. It's not about KD. It's not about the Warriors. The series is now about James Harden and his legacy. And by the way, Mike D'Antoni's legacy, Chris Paul. But let's talk James Harden here. Here are the MVPs in the history of the MVP that have titles. You've heard of some of them. LeBron, Kobe, Steph, Kevin Garnett, Duncan, Shaq, Michael Jordan, Magic, Bird, Dr. J, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Akeem. Here's the MVPs without titles. Harden, Westbrook, D. Rose, Iverson, Malone, Charles Barkley. There's only six. And there is a big gap in legacy between those two groups. You're talking about on the left, FS1 viewers, the greatest players of all time. And on the right, you're talking about guys, Carl Malone never seen his clutch. Let's be honest, if Barkley wasn't so fantastic on television, he would have been the guy that didn't want to practice or play defense. Derrick Rose couldn't stay healthy. Russell Westbrook tends to be a tad rigid. Iverson couldn't get along with others. Oh, there is a massive Grand Canyon gap between the left and the right. And this series now is all about Harden. And by the way, so far he has not passed with flying colors. Last year, his team was up 3-2, and he did lose Chris Paul, but he was awful in game six and seven when the series then depended on him. He shot 24% last two games from three. He needs to be the best player on the floor tonight. James Harden needs to take the game over and be the best player on the floor tonight. Because the Warriors, all these legacies, they're molded. Steve Kerr, great coach, great broadcaster, uh, excellent player. It's molded. He could retire today. It's done. Steph Curry revolutionized the game, best shooter ever. His legacy is molded. It's cemented. Kevin Durant, one of the 10 best non-centers that's ever played the game, best player, best team this year, certainly. Oh, yeah, that's cemented. Kevin Durant can retire today. He's a top tenner. Right? If you take the centers out, he's a top tenner. He's in that Kobe class. I mean, even Clay Thompson, part of the best offensive backcourt ever, cemented, retires today. Draymond Green, the Dennis Rodman of the Warriors, the quirky, crazy, tough guy. Everybody on the Warriors, it's all cemented, in stone, set. Now, guys can be even greater. You can add a title or points to that. But James Harden right now is in the, you know, kind of odd, talented the beard points nightclubs you're unraveled i think he's one, uh, it's not cemented this is tonight's the night and the nba for the record is there for the taking now boogie cousins and kevin durant are out for the warriors so they have no bench and they've got no bigs golden state should not win this series portland denver feel very reliant on one guy for the record so does milwaukee sort of it's here for the taking no excuses. It is here for the taking. And when I look at that list, you start looking at that list of MVPs with titles, it is the faces of the league. MJ, Kobe, Shaq, Duncan, Garnett, Steph, LeBron, Larry, Magic, Kareem, Dr. J. It's like, just check it off. 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. The other group, kind of quirky guys. Charles didn't want to practice or play defense. He's funny as hell on TV. Iverson couldn't play with others. Nash was small. It was part of a system. Russell Westbrook, good, but boy, he unravels. Harden, you don't want to be in that group. There's only six of them. You want to be in the other group. Uh, And it is wide open, and this series is yours now for the taking. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.